Now that we have our green coffee, it's time to roast. But we need to make sure we know what we're roasting. Throughout this whole process, we've labeled every bag to know where it's come from and label where it's going. We put QR codes on every package of coffee, so you can too. We use this small air roaster for experimental batches or new roasts. But this is our big roaster. It's probably where all of the coffee you'll try from us will come from. This machine uses an air spout, which blows hot air from the bottom, circulating the beans to give a nice, even roast. With these relatively few controls, we can create a lot of different flavors. There's a batch going now. This is what it looks like from the top down. The beans go in pale, but eventually develop some color, and also some flavor. When they're done, we need to quickly get them out of the machine so they stop cooking. The beans are still cooking until they've cooled down to room temperature. The vent pulls air through them to cool them quickly. Now, it's time to take a scoop and grind it up. At this point, there are a lot of variations that you can take on yourself. Developing the flavor you want takes a little bit of time and practice. You can use different grinds and different machines. Here are a few examples. This is an AeroPress for very dark, almost espresso-like coffee. This is a French press for medium body, a mocha pot for also dark coffee, and a mug pour over. Now, the important thing is just that you spend the time to find the flavors you like, and try new things. Different coffees made in different ways can develop some very different flavors. Just take some time to enjoy a cup. Mahalo.